Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Um, my name is Lippy Lip and this is uh, just a regular sort of uh, couple of videos just to show a bit more how to than, um, than just do makeup tutorials because I have to admit every time that I've wanted to try a new makeup trend or anything like that I've always gone on YouTube to see how it is done like uh, the fishtail plaits I've uh, I can master that because of YouTube um so I'm just kind of doing a couple of videos on how to do certain makeups basically now I've done my foundation uh, that was in a previous video that I had done um, now I'm going to show you how to do wing liner um, so I love doing this this is something that I do every day for my makeup I absolutely love wing liners um, so what I use is actually not oh number seven uh, no, W7. W7 uh, liquid liner. Look, I use it so much that the label is completely gone. Um, and um, I, as I say, this is one of my favourite sort of fashion things. Um, I, I love the 50s, as everybody knows. I love quirkiness, so I always do a wing liner. Now, this is just going to be a simple liner it's nothing going to be anything fancy at the moment so it's just a how to on to do this on how to do this sorry so um let me just uh get started um so basically um you want sort of a decent wing liner um if you want it, it's nice and thick if you um, if you want it thin it depends on the brush now i quite like doing mine quite thick so i use uh, quite a thick brush on this some people like to use these um, some people like to use like a pot liner um, with a brush, an actual separate brush for wing liners. Um, it's kind of like how you feel would be best for you. So I would try it out. I've tried out the wing liner in the pot and I'm not too keen on it. Um, uh, I, I think I need to try it out again because I, I did try it out quite a few years ago. So, uh, But I like to use these. So what I'm going to do first, so as you can see, side the corner of my eye you want it to go so I kind of like close my eye slightly so you can but you can still see what you're doing so and you just got a bit slight of hand and so you want it to go um, thick to thin now there you go so that's what it looks like okay then I like to go into the other corner and just start to build it up now this is really difficult to do on a camera as a mirror but I just thought I'd give it a go now I like to get the side of the brush and just go bang that's it that's all I like to do it kind of takes a while to get used to that sort of technique some people just go brush 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 layer it up brush 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 but what you gotta do is get the side of the brush get some good product on your brush oh can you see put a little bit too much on um so you get the side of the brush and just go for it now you go for the other side go for it i haven't got enough product on my brush so i'm gonna go back Swirl it around a little bit, a little bit more product on the brush. Right now, when you get to this part, you want to go kind of halfway down and just smooth it in. So you've got that nice, like, swooping sort of look. Now I kind of go to the tip and then build up that line. Build up that line. Now, there's usually like a little bit here where it looks like it's there's something's meant to be there. So I just go into the corner and just bring it down slightly so it looks full. It looks a bit crazy, which is what I done. Um, but as I say, it just gives you that flick. So, um, I mean, it's I'm not the best explainer, 
but basically the side of the brush is key as well it's not just the tip of the brush the side of the brush can give you that big nice big swir swirly curve so I'm going to do the other eye see if I can explain it a little bit better on the other eye again so sounds awful when you get dip the brush in so flick first go to the corner start using that get that in the not the waterline just get on the eyelashes I always coat a little bit of my the bottom of my eyelashes as well um, just because it, it helps with the mascara later and you haven't got like that white visible clump basically in between your mascara so side of the brush side of the brush you wanna start making it bigger. I need a bit more product. I am running out of this, so that's probably why I'm going back in and out with so much product. So side of the brush. So so I kind of go a little bit quiet. And so halfway up that flick that you've done in the first instant to just blend it nicely and have that nice straight curve and then you're bringing it down slightly as well. Bringing it down slightly. So now my eye, I don't know why, my eye, I, I always get some down here. No matter what I go, I don't even go into the corner of my eye and I get it there. And then I start my eyes start watering and then I do all this sort of sort of crazy thing. So what I do, if you do get something in your eye, I just get a beauty blender, pull my eye down and kind of roll it in. So it soaks up that product, that extra product that you don't want in your eye. So there you go. A little bit of crap on there. So see, it's done it again. I don't know why it does it. My eyes just not capable of having eyeliner on it and my eyes always water so <laughs> um so there you go that's how i do my wing liner i think that side's got a little bit better than that side even though look it's gone again um but um no that's how i do my wing liner now you can make it thinner um with a thinner brush and also possibly the um with the pots and you just do that and uh that might make a thinner line, um, but I, I really like this 1950s sort of <sighs> flick. So um, I also do, I used to do, in my gothy days, I used to do cat's eyes where it went right down into here. And so went like, at, and I had full blown, um, full blown cat's eyes sort of thing, like Egyptian sort of eyes. Um, I also sometimes team it up with some uh, eyeliner in the waterline, a little bit smudged on both sides. Um, but I do, this is sort of my everyday kind of, I, I do this every day because I, I absolutely love a good flick on the eye sort of thing. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? But I do like that. Um, so if you do like what you see and you do like my little how-to videos, um, just give me a thumbs up. Um, also subscribe to my channel um, because as I say I'm going to be doing a lot more of these and you're not going to stop me from doing them so um, but if you do like it please subscribe any tips I'm still open to tips, uh, tips. I am open to constructive criticism <laughs> okay thanks for watching guys and I shall see you again soon